Ugh. I can't take it anymore, bro. This bulk has got me. My girlfriend won't have sex with me. I'm getting tired going up the stairs. I can't remember the last time I've seen my penis. And these goddamn influencers with their abs. Fucking Chuck Norris. What would you do? You gotta accept the bulk, brother. You're destined for greatness. You have a big bench press PR coming. You gotta remember why you're doing this. For the young kings out there who are watching this and aren't giving in to influencers. No. Been your lean year round. But I don't know how long I can do this. Suck it up. I'd stop at Supermax on the way here just Accept to hit it. my calories. Accept it. Accept it. It's my there will come a day where you won't have calories to eat. And you will feel weak. Embrace the strength gains. Bro. We about to get a second famine or some shit? <laughs> Goddamn. Shit got dark real quick. <laughs> so you want to know about bulking? We're going to get into everything today. If I remember to cover everything. That's why I have some notes written down. But hopefully, we've got them up here. I think first and foremost, we need to address the elephant in the room. Elephant in the room could be me, because I'm bulking. And that is what you think bulking actually is. When you hear the word bulking, what do you think about? You think of something like this. And is this the case? Is this what bulking is? Let's find out. Bulking is another way of saying, it's like the bro or bodybuilder way of saying, gaining phase or simply being in a calorie surplus and bulking I think has like a negative connotation attached to it when we when you hear that word bulking you automatically think of of this fucking Chuck Norris I think that's what people perceive bulking to be when they hear that word but when you hear gain or lean gain or calorie surplus it doesn't sound that bad now that that's out of the way is gaining or bulking useful. A gaining phase is incredibly useful and make no mistake, it is an investment into your physique and your health, irrespective if you're a man or a woman. Is that a bold statement? Well, if you're in a gaining phase, you're in more of a harmonious environment to build more muscle tissue. In order to build muscle, we need to lift weights and send a signal to build muscle, but then we need the raw materials, which is enough food, calories and protein, to build that muscle tissue and when you're eating enough calories or when you're in a surplus of calories the muscle building process runs a lot smoother compared to if you were at maintenance or in a calorie deficit and that's how it works for most people beginners are the outliers to this putting on muscle tissue is incredibly beneficial to everybody as we age as we age we lose muscle I think sarcopenia is the term for age-related muscle loss. So people who have muscle now at a younger age, as they get older, this won't affect them as much. It just won't. The second thing is, is that you're going to have a better metabolism. Now, there's been a few studies that have shown how much, your, um, how much extra calories you burn by every pound of muscle you add on. And I think it's somewhere as low between 6 and 11 calories. That seems pretty low. However, if you enjoy weight training, and this is just what you plan to do as your mode of exercise going forward for eternity, you're probably gonna put on more than 20 pounds of muscle, I'll assume. And that could be anywhere, that could give you about 200 calories extra a day that you're burning by just having muscle on your body. And you like weight training. So I think it is, I think it is a plus for having a higher metabolism and yeah, if you have the right training methods, the right coach program, you could build muscle faster than you know, what compared to if you were to go out on your own or get some other shitty program or coach online. Anyways, I digress. It's going to set you up for being able to diet on higher calories if you choose to do so. So if you choose to go for a fat loss phase or a dieting phase, you will have a much easier time losing weight because your calories, you, don't, you won't have to drop them as low. Like let's say you never did a gaining phase, 
and you've kept your calories in and around maintenance, which might be 2,500, but then, but that's, that's one scenario. But the other scenario is you decided to do a gaining phase for six months, and by the end of the gaining phase, your calories are at 3,700. Now, maintenance, starting your cut in scenario one, you were at 2,500 calories, you need to go below that. But during your gaining phase, you're, you ended at 3,700 calories. Now you pretty much just have to go below that. And maybe like, you might have to go down to maybe, maybe 2.5 or 2.6 or 2.7. It depends on how aggressive or conservative you want to be with the calorie deficit. But you get what I'm saying. You'll be able to diet on higher calories, which will be nicer. Um, need to check. Is there any more points? I, I didn't want to look at this too much. Ah, how did I not think of this? You're going to be sexier. That's right. From bulking and getting bigger, man or woman, you will be sexier. Because like that, putting muscle on your body looks good. It's going to give you all the curves. All these curves, you're going to get them. And when you're eating in a calorie surplus and you weight train, it's easier to get those curves. I think someone's about to come in the gym now and disrupt this video. FYI. So if that happens, we may have, we may have to hit pause and take this up again. Because if I'm right, if I know the sound of my brother's engine, that lovely BMW he has, I think that's who just pulled up outside. Oh, I was on the money. <gasps> yeah. Trump. On the money, hey, on the money, I said, I said that was him coming in the door. Yeah, just tell them what you did. No, what I do? Uh, leave an order from both Brooks coming soon here now. Big Arctic's going to pull up. I'll be back. We're back. I can confirm this is the next day. Shit happens. It's okay. I think I left off saying, talking about bulking, what you think it is and the benefits of bulking. And I think I was about to get into clean versus dirty bulking. So I've had time to think about that. Clean bulking is essentially trying to get bigger with no junk food. Dirty bulking is you're essentially trying to get bigger, but you're consuming more processed food. You're, may you're probably meeting your protein requirements and then you don't care how you're filling up the rest of your calories. You're slamming donuts, pizza, breakfast rolls, Whatever, shit that's high in calories, highly tasty. A clean bug, I would say, is for people who gain weight very easily. I would say if you're someone who's prone to gaining weight fast, then a clean bulk is probably something that's probably a good idea for you because it's very hard to overeat chicken and broccoli. It's very hard to overeat foods that are highly uh, nutritious, highly satiating, meaning they'll fill you faster, like stuff like lean meats, vegetables, fruit, they're high in fiber, that stuff will fill you a lot quicker. So you won't overdo your calories too much, I would say. Whereas on the other hand, if you're someone who struggles to gain weight, then maybe clean bulking isn't the best idea for you. You're gonna to struggle to eat the amount of calories you need to eat if you're just eating clean food. So if you're someone who struggles to gain weight, maybe the odd cookie, half pack of biscuits, Pizza, you know, maybe this might be a good idea for you. Maybe. I'm not saying that's what you should do. I'm just saying maybe it is. Maybe you should think about it. However, are we looking at this the wrong way? Is this what's known as a false dichotomy? It's not either or. You don't need to look at it as clean or dirty bulking. You can integrate both. Like, that's how this shit is sustainable in the first place. That's how someone gets in shape and stays in shape because what they're doing needs to be sustainable. And I don't think it's either or. I think it's 80% clean bulking, 20% some treats, some snacks, some nice desserts, a bit of pizza, a bit of pasta, go out for Italian, have a glass of wine, you know, enjoy that shit. I haven't shown too many physique updates in the last while. Personally, I just, I completely forget about it. And I think that's a good thing in a way because I get so focused on the process, on like eating more food, sleeping right, training and I know in my own head I know I need to give this shit time so I don't take too many updates but I actually did take a quick video of me flexing yesterday morning check that shit out I'm the heaviest I've ever been at 93 kilos 
And do I look like someone who's gained a lot of excess body fat? No, I'm 10 kilos heavier than I was last year. And I don't look like I'm that much heavier in terms of like body fat. So the fact that I don't look like I've gained a lot of body fat, but I'm 10 kilos heavier, that tells me that I'm, I'm doing this bulk in a decent way. Frano. Just to let you know. What's up? Today it's International Women's Day. That's good to know. So when your ladies come, you encourage them to be stronger in core. Do you want to come on camera and say that? Hello everyone, my name is Frano, head roaster of Geometry Coffee Roasters, good friend of Dave here. Excellent coffee. To, and I want to wish all these beautiful ladies outside who are trying to do better for them, happy International Women's Day and stay caffeinated and healthy. Dave. Frano. Keep doing what you're doing. You too, brother. So bulking, not something you should be scared of. It's an investment into your physique, into your health. You can do it right without ex excess fat gain. Now, I did get some questions to cover. Let me grab my phone here. I got two questions. This is from Instagram. How do I know I am putting on muscle during the bulk and that it is not fat? Okay, very good question. Have you got your basis covered? So, calorie requirements. Do you know what your maintenance is? And are you slightly above your maintenance? Because if you're slightly above your maintenance, you're in, you have the right amount of calories to gain muscle. But if you're too far over your calories and you're just exceeding it by 500, 800 calories every day, then that might be too much. You'll know if you're gaining weight, you're gaining fat too fast, if you're gaining weight a little too fast. You should probably be aiming for a minimum of one to two kilos a month. One to two kgs a month is probably what you're looking to see in terms of a gain. If you're exceeding that, chances are you might be gaining a little bit of extra body fat. So if you're, looking, if you're tracking your weight, tracking how that's going, if you see that you're gaining maybe three or four kilos this month or last month, might be, that might be a sign to pull your calorie intake back a bit and take photos of yourself. Do you have any insecurity, poor body image while gaining weight? Me personally, no, I don't. I'm quite comfortable with how I look, but I think that's a good thing. I think I should be comfortable and you should want me to be comfortable with how I look and my body image. I've been, doing, I've been lifting for 13 years. My God, people, if you're lifting for over 10 years, surely you would want to be at a stage where you're comfortable with your physique and no longer insecure. Because what's the fucking point if we don't achieve that? Look, I'm at a place where I'm very comfortable. But like I said, I've been doing this for 13 years and I can see into the future. I know this is going to be a good thing for me, but I understand this is going to be a hard thing for a lot of people. That is a great question because a lot of people are going to struggle with this. And a lot of people hear bulk or calorie surplus and they're already insecure with how they look. And they're like, oh my God, you want me eating more food? Will I not just get fatter? So. I can understand that, and I can understand that for women especially. Women really struggle with this, but trust me, I can actually show a few photos here of clients, of examples of women who gained weight, women and men who gained weight, but they look like they've lost weight, because if you're eating around your maintenance or slightly just above maintenance, we do this with all our clients for Blueprint. We get them eating at maintenance, but we increase their calories ever so slightly each month by only like 150, 200 calories, what usually happens after 12 weeks, these people look like they've lost weight, but the weight has either one, stayed the same, or two, they've gained like two or three kilos. But people are saying to them, my God, you look like you've lost weight. And it's a, it's a bit of a mind fuck, it is, but that's, that comes down to the, chain, the difference in tissues. Fat tissue looks, fat tissue takes up a lot, is a lot more dense than muscle tissue. Muscle tissue is more compact, so a pound of muscle might look like this, but a pound of fat might look like that. So that's why when you lose fat and gain muscle, it looks like you've lost weight. You also have to ask yourself, what's your goal? Like, what do you want? If you're, if you're someone who wants to actually put on a good bit of muscle and get stronger, is that your goal? Then suck it up and do it right. And, and trust in the process, you will look a lot better. But maybe you're someone who doesn't want to put on a lot of muscle and you don't want to, you don't want to increase your calories. And if you don't know why you're watching this video, if that's the case, because you've wasted a whole lot of time. I would say at the end of the day, it comes down to you, your goals, and what you want to achieve. And if a more muscular, stronger version of you is what you want to achieve, then 
a gaining phase is a good idea. One thing I'll add as well, bulking is almost like the natural's superpower and gateway to a physique that doesn't look natural. If you want to put on a lot of muscle, the best way to do that is in a calorie surplus or take steroids. So, which is it? Do you want to go to the dark side and take steroids? Or do you want to be the all natural and try and gain as much muscle as possible? Well then, bulking actually might be a good idea for you. But it comes back to your goals, what you want to achieve. I am someone who wants to get, in, I want to get incredibly big. I want to get as big as I possibly can without going to the dark side. That's the video. Honestly, I hope I've changed some of your minds on gaining. It's a great thing. It's an investment into your physique. I've said it two or three times now. Irrespective if you're a man or a woman, a gaining phase is a good idea, but it all comes back to your goals and what you want to achieve. So, thank you for watching. Go about your day now. Enjoy the weekend.